This is way worse than moist. The moistest. Yes, you can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames? Let's see. Gross. This place stinks. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Guess they built machines better in the past. The spent nuclear fuel that Toxanol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know it carries so much hate, and its insatiable hunger has only increased over the years since it claimed revenge on your parents. Gizmo says he also has re-memories from the long gone, but unlike you, he doesn't think of the past, for it's gone. He understands history made Loopa Loop in a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo understands you still have strong feelings, but urges you to keep them under control. You've witnessed firsthand what it'll lead to. Yes, that's the way. No arguing with that. Sometimes your gut is flat out wrong. Don't ever doubt yourself. You are number one. Even the dark knows you're better than this. Stick with me. We'll rule the world. Would like to know if you ever doubt the choices you made on the path that brought you to this point. Would you have been happier going in a different direction? <laughs> Figures you're either a rare person or a good liar. 
maybe both. Hard to believe the world is actually going to survive. Just seemed impossible till now. Grateful to you for coming back and doing your best to change things. You were the only chance they had. Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seemed so centered and so seeking. Thinks that's more than most are. It's hard to keep to a path like that. But that's not important now. Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present. And where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the dead zone. So you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mekton, starting with the old crate outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mekton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Puff. There are more crates from before the apocalypse left out in the wild. Easy to find if you keep an eye out. You should be able to gather enough scrap to upgrade the Mekton from them. Keep your breath shallow as a p They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. That's the leftover you're looking for.
Even the sound seems sharper here. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun and a gathering net, but no armor, nor enough oxygen supply. Something he devised to salvage valuables from the ground. There are usually spots hidden beneath puddles of oily goo where you can use the net. He's been working on another project for the Mekton, a cannon, but it needs ammunition, and by that he means the scripts. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the Jumbo Puff. The best way to find scripts is to go talk to Moog. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find scripts. It's a little feisty and tough critter, a perfect fit for a live ammunition, if you ask him. The Grease Monkey's Mekton is built sturdy, just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? Check out that day. Might want to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. That over there is Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to.
tin can. Grab and pull. But see, in more. Diava. This one's impressed to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. Claims he goes after the most dangerous game, huge monsters. Moog says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. Choosing what to kill and what to spare are the most important decisions you'll make. You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves and you know they'll miss. Claims he mostly kills whoever he doesn't like. Says it's wild that the world seems to be coming back, but he supposes that means more monsters for him to shoot. Wonders why you work so hard to keep things alive. Bullets help thin the herd instead. Says you should give up on working with the stubborn myriad. He keeps trying to put out their lights and they keep putting up new ones. Some Says they keep the monsters away. He needs them closer, not farther. But enough of that, right? He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore, and if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. Says as big as they are, the world is bigger. To find where they are, you need to see where they've been. Moog says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. Fortunately for you, he can help. He understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. Says you stick to the haunting and shots present themselves later. Let's see. Wait, it's the Squip Hola. Place is just filled with critters.
It's easy to lose track of time down here. Time to do it on your own. You always find good use for th the right key could open this. Once the volatilization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. We're all heroes of our own stories, or so we hope. Oh, idea. Go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up and you can get up to that entrance there. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Just a few moves left, make them count. Good, that's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Could be a pretty sky tonight. Oh, 
He says that's enough scripts to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. That's the special weapon he made to store the scripts in the Mecton. It will be strong enough to launch them at the Jumbo Puff. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The Mecton will be strong enough to do the job. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now, otherwise he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. He asks you to not even think about taking on the Jumbo Puff on foot. You'll need the Mecton to do the job, take his word for it. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff, there are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mecton with on your own. He got the idea to build the Mecton when he found a big crate containing the metal frame for something Toxanol had named an exoskeleton. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Wouldn't be surprised if you met again. That's a jumbo puff with an appetite. Ain't no fuzz. Better put an end to it before it ends our world. Jumbo Puff is kicking it up a notch. It's time for an electric performance.
bad feeling about this. It goes all the way down to the stomach. Start like a snack, and you'll end up with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. Better move up, up and away, or be swept out the bowel way. Sized worm whip. That must be as big as they come. You see, it's the Taurus is pumping at half a beat. You know what to do. Who would have guessed it would go down with a throw up? Can it really get any better than that? He thanks you for dealing with the first world eater. It's a start. You should go see Out of Date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. Even if Out of Date doubts your intentions, he depends on your help, and the Sifu is confident he'll let you know what you need. He trusts you know where to find out of date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed. 